live longer. You can look at this, and there's joy when I'm with other people who know the Lord. That's what it's about, because it's God all around. And this is the, 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 you know, we are surrounded. There are studies, they've made studies, science has shown that people who are actively involved in the house of God, in the ministry, are healthier, happier, they even live longer. You can look at all these different rates. I mean, from those who pray together, those who minister together, those who are part together. Look at every rate. Look at their immune system. It's higher. Look at their, look at their blood pressure. It's better. Look at their heart. is better. Look at like, all those things. It's not saying because you do that, you're not going to have any, any issues. But it's saying you're going to be healthier. Want to be healthy? Why? Because it's God's way. So, of course, you're going to be healthier. And you're going to be happier than you would have been. But here's another one, another link key that's right there in there. It, it says, they are always praising you. Blessed are they who are always praising you. Praising you. Or, happy are those who are praising you. Happy. Ever try to complain and praise at the same time? It's very hard. It's very hard to praise God and judge somebody at the same time. Try it. Some of you have. It's very hard to praise God and gossip at the same time. It's very hard to be unhappy when you're praising God. Very hard. God is so good, and I'm depressed. It doesn't go. I love God, He's a, and I'm miserable. doesn't happen. But if it's in your heart, if it's from your heart, it's, it's going to be joy. Very simple thing. Praise God. What does the word Jew mean? Jew, Yehuda, means one who praises God. And if you are born again, you are spiritually Jewish. That means your life is to be characterized, not just occasionally, but by the act of praise. You're a person, you're to be a person of praise. You're to be known for praise. That's to be your essence. It means that if that's what it is, it doesn't matter. My circumstances aren't telling me who I am. My circumstances are circumstances, but they're not who I am. I am a praiser of God. That's what the Bible says. That's what you are. So it doesn't matter. It becomes unconditional. Look, think of the book of Acts. Think of the joy they had. When you think of the book of Acts, you think of a joyful book, which had persecution, which had trouble, had imprisonment, had all those things, and you think of a joyful book. Why? Because they were praising him in the midst of everything. They are ever praising you. Think of Paul and Silas in that Philippian jail, and what are they doing? They're praising God. They are ever praising you, and therefore, happy are they. Joyful are they. Make it, cultivate a habit of praise. Habit of praise. Lord, I thank you. And that goes with thanksgiving. Lord, thank you for this. Thank you for this. Sorry, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't thank you before. Thank you for all the blessings I have. I praise you, Lord. When it's hard to praise, when it's hardest to praise, do it more. Because you're going to strengthen your joy in the end. You're going to strengthen your joy. Habit of praise. They are ever. This is who they are. Now here's another one. Another key here. And you don't have to keep count. This is number 10. Proverbs 14 verse 21. Blessed is the one who has mercy on the poor. Compassion. Happy is he who has compassion on the needy. Happy is the one... What is it? What's the link here? The link here is between joy and compassion. You want to be open to receive God's joy? Have an open heart to love people. Love. There's a joy in love. When you love, when you, when you hate, there's no joy. When you're in fear, there's no joy. But when you love those people, even who, who are your enemies, and you can forgive them and love them, there is joy. Their joy comes in. Step, you're stepping out of yourself, and you're stepping into another. You're blessed. I'm going to bless that one anyway. I don't have to be afraid of that one. I don't have to be fighting that one. Lord, bless this one. Love your enemy. Don't agree. You're not agreeing with what they did or who they are, but you're loving them. That's in the image of God that I'm blessing. And that goes with the next one, which is similar, but it's the action of it. And that is, it says, those who have mercy on the poor, meaning those who give, who bless, who are generous, happy are they. Happy are they. It's not just about having a feeling. You know, it's, that's one thing. But to give to those who need to be a generous person, happy are you. And you know what? They've done studies, and guess what? Those people who are generous are happy people. Those people who are not are not as much. When you're Because you're in God's flow. You're giving. And now one more. And this is from Psalm 144. Verse 15, blessed, 
Blessed is the people whose God is the Lord. Or, happy are the people whose God is the Lord. What's the key here? Make God, now this is going to sound, it's going to sound like we, 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 well, we know that, but no. It's saying, they're saying something here that if you really have God as your Lord, you're going to be happy. What does that mean? Not that you say he's your Lord and not that you know he's Lord, but that he's first every day. Lord, I, I, you're Lord of everything in my life. Everything in my life. You're first in my house, first in my will, first in everything. And I'm, there's nothing in my life that's not, you're not over. You're number one. You know, truly making him Lord, following him Lord, that means that, that if I want something and you want something else, I'm going with it. I'm going with it, even though it hurts, but I know it's going to bring me joy in the end. When he's Lord of your heart, Lord of my heart, Lord. In the kingdom of God, when he comes on earth, when the kingdom comes, he will be Lord of the entire earth. And you know what people will be then? Happy, joyful. The lion and the, and, and the calf together. What's the secret of happiness, of joy now? Live with God being the Lord of your life. Even if the kingdom hasn't come on earth in fullness, it can be in your life. There's a guarantee that everything he asks of you to do for his will is going to end with joy. Everything. Even if it's hard, in the end it's going to lead to joy, no matter what. The ways of God lead to joy. The ways of sin lead away from joy. The greatest deal in the world, if he's telling you this is a guarantee, what's the greatest deal? I don't have to spend a million dollars. I don't have to go to a million. I don't have to go to a million seminars. I need to follow God. Follow him. Do it by the book. The more you do it by the book. Listen, this is what it says. This is what I'm doing. A life of joy is going to come this way. It's not going to come all the ways the world says. And too many believers think that, that you know, happiness is like a Big Mac. You just, you order it. This is what I want. I want it now. I want it now. That's not how it happens. A happy marriage is not like a Big Mac. You work at it. A happy, a happy life in God, you work at it. You choose it. You choose to do things and not to do other things. You choose to be a disciple. It takes perseverance. It takes cultivating a godly heart. It takes godly attitudes. But it will come. A life of happiness or joy, God wants you to have it. But you got to do it his way. His way. You want joy. Here, a life of righteousness. You want, I want to, let me just put it together very quickly here. Take whatever. Take even one of it. Take, take whatever it is and go with it. It'll change what you're doing and how you're doing. You want a life of joy? Cultivate a life of righteousness. In righteousness, in doing what's right in God, comes joy. Avoid sin. Repent of sin. Pursue what's right. Turn down sin. You're going to be happy. Be filled with the word daily. Fill your life. Fill your house. Fill your heart with the word. Meditate on the word every day. Let it sink into you. Let God's love sink into you. Believe, trust, in faith comes joy. Dwell in forgiveness. Repent of any bitterness. Get it out of your house. Get out of your life. Whatever you have to do. Cultivate a heart of forgiveness. Get into, get into forgiveness. Into your own and to theirs. Draw near. Get into the joy of approaching God every day. Every day dwell in his presence. Be involved in the great commission in his house. Cultivate a heart and mind of praise. They are ever. Be the one who God says, hey, this one is ever praising me. Make it a habit. A habit also of compassion and love. In love comes joy in the love of God. Give and it shall be given to you. Press down. You're going to be joyful. Be joyful. Delight in what is good. Delight in the things of God. Delight in the good and you will, your joy will be full. Be active and do the will of God and do the will of God in joy and you're going to have even more joy. And make the Lord truly the Lord of your life. Take this in every way, even one of the keys this week, it'll be worth more than a million dollars to you. Because if you want to be happy for the rest of your life, it's not about who's your husband or your wife. If you want a life of joy for you, do it his way, because his way is true. For blessed is the one, a share is the one, and happy is the one who will live in the ways of God. Make that one you, and you will be blessed, you will be a share, and you will be happy for the rest of your life. Amen.